Good morning everybody, welcome back to another vlog. It's Monday morning, the sun is shining and I've actually got a very nice day planned so vlogging it is. If you had seen me an hour ago, I did not look like this. First thing I did when I woke up this morning, I'm not sure what's happened to me, but I did an exercise DVD. Where is Lucy? What have I done with her? I've been doing it for the last few days and literally I'm struggling to hold this camera up. My muscles are like, what is happening? Why are you doing this to us? What is this torture? But I guess aches and pains mean that it's kind of working, so that must be a good sign. My bum muscles, like my uh, gluteus maximus, I think is the proper term. Not in a good way right now. Going up the stairs is a real issue. But basically, one afternoon last week, I was just sat at my desk and I was like, you know what? I haven't moved very much for quite some time now and it's probably time I did something about that. It's not a fitness thing or a weight loss thing, it's just the fact that I literally sit at my desk and feel like some kind of stagnant volcano, just like dormant at all times, like just sitting there like, hmm, so dormant. But literally every time after I do it, the colour of me Actually, do you know what? The colour of me is literally this door. I literally look insane. I'm like a bright red sweating moon with some kind of tiny little bun just attached to my head, clinging on for dear life. Anyway, since then, had a shower, calmed down a bit, washed my hair. And later I've got Gabby coming over. I'm so excited, I haven't seen her for ages since I last went to Brighton. So she's coming over here. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do yet. It's such a beautiful day though. So I might make her walk around the park with me. So I'm hoping we can spend a bit of time outside, maybe get a little Christmas coffee and a sandwich, sit in the park or something. So yeah, but as you may have seen in the background behind me, the flat is an absolute tip and I really cannot have a guest when the flat looks like this. It's just awful, really, really awful. So I'm gonna spend the next hour or so having a bit of a super speed clean up, just like basically shoving everything into drawers is my version of tidying up. And I need to get some breakfast because I am real hungry. I'm so proud of myself. I've literally blitzed the house from top to bottom and it looks so cute now. When this flat is actually tidy, it reminds me how much I literally love it so much. But while I was cleaning and trying to figure out what the hell I can fill this vlog with for the morning before I go and see Gabs. It suddenly occurred to me that I don't think I've actually shown you the flat since I was doing moving vlogs, which was literally like two months ago. Like you've seen it in the backgrounds and stuff, but I haven't properly shown you like all the nice little bits that we've bought since then and all that kind of thing. So I figured I'd do a super quick little whistle stop tour before I head out. Start upstairs, let's start in the office bit. Well, I say office, it's just more of like, a random space for me to work in really. So this is where I work from home every morning, it's where I film my videos and it's also where I do my writing. So let me spin you around and show you. So up here now I've got my little desk, my Alex drawers are all set up and then in here I've put all my like makeup storage and that kind of thing. On top of here I've just got a couple little trays where I keep all my paperwork and stuff and then just a few little pretty things, uh, some prints to brighten the place up and then most recently I've added this like cool little wire note rack which I think looks really awesome. I've got some of my like favourite prints. And then this little banner which I absolutely love. I got this for Christmas last year and it's one of my favourite things. So this is my little workspace where you'll find me most days and then if you spin around to the left you might recognise this as a background for my videos. Hey guys welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. <laughs> So when I film my main channel video, I literally just move this chair over here and film against that with the fairy lights on. And then otherwise, when I'm not filming, I keep my lights and my camera set up just over here. And then this is just some random mess that no one needs to know about. One thing that really does annoy me is that this blind doesn't go up. The rest of them have got the same like red thing that goes straight down, but this one doesn't go up, which bugs me so much. I really need to figure out how to fix that. I've also just got a little dress rail hanging out over here where I keep things that I don't wear very often really, like night out kind of things, which I never wear. And then just behind me, before you go back downstairs, there's another little leafy print up here. Uh, my pin collection, which hangs on a little banner over here. And then that's it. That's my little office studio space. I just love it. I love having a proper space to go to to do my work. It makes me so much more productive. So then down underneath my office, if you haven't watched my moving vlogs, I live in a bit of a weird flat with my boyfriend. Um, so let me try and explain. So top floor is office space and then you come down the stairs and then this bit is the living room. I think we've managed to make this maybe my favourite bit of the whole flat now. I think we spend so much time in here. This is where we like watch TV, watch movies, hang out together. Adam puts his vinyls on, I'll sit and read a book, that kind of thing. So this is like the main bit of the flat I would say and we've managed to get it 
pretty nice. So these are the stairs that I came down from the studio before. Then we've got the telly set up over here. Ooh, that Bucky lighting, hello. And as much as I don't love this table, it came with the flat and we can't afford to replace it at the moment. Don't mind me, just watching some Loose Women. And Adam recently tidied this up a bit, so it looks quite cute actually. We've put two little pants either side of the PlayStation, Got a few key DVDs and games over there, and this is a little like fairy light holder. So TV over to the left here, and then we've got my favorite rug of all time in the history of the world ever. We still don't have a coffee table. That is like the one thing that we really need to just like suck it up and buy, because it is so annoying putting drinks on the floor all the time. Uh, the coffee table and the footstool, we really need some kind of like poof, or like a footrest kind of thing. They're like the two things that we still desperately need to buy, but they're just really boring purchases, aren't they? So for now, we just keep a few bits and bobs down on the floor here, but I actually think it looks quite cute. Got a couple of prints here, which I still need to put on the wall, but I actually think look quite cute, just like chilling out on the floor. Uh, a little lamp. These are the coasters that I went for in the end. They were from Tiger. And then this little bag, which we keep all the like, remote controls and stuff in. I picked this up in Spain, I just thought it was super cute. If you watch the moving vlogs then you might remember the OG bright red sofa which has now been covered. This is like the most ridiculously budget cover ever. I literally just picked it up from a hardware store and it's actually one of those kind of like dust sheets that you chuck over things when you're doing like a big paint job or whatever. I think it costs like 14 pounds or something and it turns out sofa covers like decent ones are super expensive so I was quite happy with that. I thought it was a bit of a bargain. I've also just chucked this little blanket over it and these are my bargain velvet cushions from Primark. Up here then we've got the gallery wall which me and Adam have so far added nothing extra to. We really need to add a few more bits to this but I feel like that's maybe a Christmas thing like we could each get each other a print to put on here maybe. I don't know. And yep the red wall is still very much here. I still hate it so much but now that we've kind of filled in this space I don't feel like I hate it as much as I did. We actually have a really awesome landlord who I think would probably be quite chill about us painting it but I feel like maybe I might ask after Christmas now that she knows that we've been here for a few months. I'm not gonna cause any trouble. We're not gonna like paint it bright green or whatever. Um, I'm hoping she might let me paint over it, but we'll see how that goes anyway. For now, seeing as everything else is looking pretty decent, the red wall is not the end of the world at all. And now that we also don't have like a red bright sofa to go with it, I feel like it's less mental and in your face. I think the most recent big addition that we've made are these shelves which we popped in this space under the stairs here. I asked on Twitter if anyone had any idea what could possibly fill this space because we needed some shelving but it's such an awkward shape like it's flat and then down like it's so annoying but in the end I found these from Ikea and I think we might get like another one of these because this is like an additional bit so I might get another one to like fill in this gap here but for now, it's absolutely fine. It does the job, and I actually think it looks pretty cute. We've got Adam's vinyl on here, some candles and plants and stuff, little cocktail set, big speakers, which Adam invested in. That's the most boy thing ever. A few little bottles of booze, and then these are like my favorite thing on the shelf. These are a present from my friend Gemma, and I just think they are so cute. I literally love them. So that is the living space, pretty much done and dusted. I mean, it still needs a few bits, but I just feel like when you're a grown up and you like live with your significant other, there's just literally an endless list of things that needs to be bought. It's actually crazy. So if you can't remember, that's the sofa there. And then you come down these steps again. And then on your right here, is a kitchen. So the kitchen was pretty much done and dusted to be honest. It's a fitted kitchen. It came with all the bits and bobs that we needed. Dishwasher, fridge, oven. But um, because it's like quite a tiny kitchen, there wasn't a lot that we could really do to it, but we filled it with some quite cute things anyway. So over here, we've got a cute little radio, which I bought for Adam for his birthday once. Uh, this is an iPad stand, so you can like put your recipes on here. Little egg house, which is actually a moving in present from Adam's friend George, so that is actually very cute. Uh, we've got these little jars of all the essentials, and this is Adam's latest ridiculous purchase because he like loves cooking, so this kind of thing is very exciting to him. These cute little matching bits, which we got from Spain, and then over here is my absolute pride and Enjoy our super fancy coffee machine. Although we're running low on coffee actually, I need to stock up. So they are probably the most exciting parts of the kitchen, but then you go down another floor. So this is like the ground floor where you come in when you come through the front door. Yeah, our whole flat is basically upside down. We basically live in the upside down. So the bedroom, ooh, this is bright. So the bedroom where I am now, is the ground floor. Let me spin you around and show you. So excuse the rubbish that I need to take downstairs, but that's the front door. And these are the steps that I just came down a minute ago. So that's the front door. Then you come around here, bathroom. We've literally done nothing to the bathroom, but it's pretty nice in itself. It looks fine. Hello. The only real thing that I have done is just add a ludicrous amount of products onto all the shelves. Like really? 
Who needs all of this, honestly? So I think I mentioned recently in another vlog when I was talking about the bedroom, or maybe this was ages ago. I can't remember, I have zero sense of time. The bedroom is a room that we just don't know what to do with and I'm totally clueless about what to do with it. When we moved in, this flat was furnished. So things like this wardrobe and bedside table and the bed and drawers and all that kind of thing came with the flat, which is amazing because we couldn't afford to deck it out ourselves. But it also means that you're a little bit limited on like, what you can do with everything and how to make it as personal as possible and that kind of thing. And when I come in this bedroom, I just feel like we haven't really done anything to it. Like it's got a lot of stuff in it and it's just a bit of like a mishmash and I don't know, I'm just a bit like at a loss with this bedroom. To be honest, I'm just complaining about nothing really. It's still a lovely bedroom, it's fine, it's super cozy. We don't spend a lot of time in here because we chill upstairs. But if you did watch my moving vlogs, you will remember the red cabinet, oh my God. This cabinet is the bane of my life. It just looks insane. Like, look at all the stuff in there. It literally just looks insane. I'm kind of given up, to be honest. This is what the bedroom is. This is what we're sticking with for now because we haven't got the money to sort it out. So, this is the bedroom. Let me show you properly. It took me a while to figure this out, but we actually have a super king size bed, which is crazy. And nothing that we have fits it properly. We haven't even bought a proper duvet that fits it yet. Um, so we've still got a double duvet on a super king size bed. And then over here is the windowsill, which I actually do think looks quite cute. This is kind of my like makeshift makeup station because I don't even have a dressing table in here. But I keep all my kind of like fave products just kind of shoved into here. All my brushes are here. Um, and then the rest of it is upstairs in the office that you saw. And then let's just ignore this because honestly, is it any wonder that I can never find anything? Like, look at it, it's absolutely cray. And then the last thing in here is a mirror, hello. Anyway, now that I've like cleverly filled in that spare 15 minutes that I had, I think I'm probably running late now. So I'm gonna go meet Gabby and I will catch up with you later. Lighting! How adorable. How cute. A dog! Oh, well, we've had a burger day. Oh, I didn't even say you were here, did I? <laughs> I found Gabby! Hello! <laughs> we've been for a burger, which was so nice. nice. Gabby's bought her leftovers and a paper bag with her. Story of my life. <laughs> Anyone who brings like a spare bit of burger out with them is my kind of friend. So now we've grabbed a little Christmas coffee from Starbs. I'm having my first ever toffee nut latte. Yeah, do you like it? What's your verdict? It's actually delicious. Have you had a gingerbread one? Yeah, gingerbread is normally the one I go for. See, I don't like that one. Oh. So I was worried that you wouldn't like uh, this one. I don't think I'm fussy. If it's hot and coffee and it's got cream on top, <laughs> I'll take it. And now we're just having a little romantic moment in the park. It honestly feels like I'm on a date. I just said this to Lucy. <laughs> it literally feels like I'm on a date. Show them our view. They're on a date. Oh. How cute. Does it not feel like you're on a date? Maybe you're too straight for this feeling. Maybe. I literally just put my camera on to show you a dog and it just left. So. <laughs> that was the most sake. evil laugh I've ever done. <laughs> I've literally tried three times how to film a dog and every single time it's run away. So, good content there. Oh, this lighting is lovely. It's lovely, isn't it? We're going to try and take a picture in a minute. <laughs> it probably won't go well. I don't know why I'm trying to like fix my hair. I literally look like I've been dug up. There is no saving this today. Hey guys, so it is now, what even is the day? It is Wednesday now. So all of that footage that you just saw was actually from Monday and I've just been sat here editing the vlog and realized that I didn't even say bye. Worst vlogger ever. So I thought that rather than just do like a super random ending in the park of me and Gabby, um, I thought I'd say bye properly. If you can't tell, judging by the absolute state of me, uh, I'm not feeling great today. Is it too much information to tell you that I've got like a really crap heavy period this month and it's making me feel pretty much as bad as I probably look right now. The bags under my eyes are probably enough to tell you that I just feel like really run down and just kind of rubbish in general. I'm hoping you can't really see because I've done a clever trick and covered it up with some lipstick but I've even got a cold sore and I haven't had a cold sore in like years and trust me if you don't get them if you do get them, you might understand. There is nothing like a cold sore to make you feel like a gross, reptile, disgusting, cave-dwelling lizard 
who needs to be kept away from the rest of humanity. I don't know if anyone else gets this when they have a cold sore, but honestly, it just makes me feel like I wanna just curl up into a ball and disappear for a few days until it goes away, which is literally just like so annoying. It's the worst timing ever, because I'd put aside like loads of time this week to film loads of videos. And I'd even arrange with Josie to like film collabs this week and stuff, and I just can't do any of it, it's so annoying. So thanks, period. Thanks for just like messing me up and turning me into a big ball of gross. I appreciate that. Although, having said all that, I did see in a recent video that Zoella had a cold sore and if Zoella had a cold sore then they must be on trend at the moment. Maybe I can just say that this is a Zoella inspired cold sore. Anyway so that's the latest in my life. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the slightly less miserable part of this vlog. If I don't upload for a few days it's because I'm waiting for my face to go back to normal. There's literally nothing I feel less like doing right now than sitting in front of my camera setup and chatting for ages and looking at my own face while I edit it. I hope you're having a better day than I am and I hope you're looking cuter than I am right now. I'm sure you probably are. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram both at Lucy Jane Wood if you want to follow my antics in between videos and I will see you guys very soon well face dependent but I'm hoping I will see you guys very soon with another video bye love you lots Mwah.